We first reported this three days ago, and people couldn't believe it. I'm going to file two longer reports tonight, but for folks with short attention spans, I'm going to give you the word here. Most guns are to be outright banned under the head senator over the committee that controls what laws can be introduced. So they're going to try, with a new larger majority in the Senate, to pass the new assault weapons ban where most guns are banned, they shut down gun shows, they shut down any private sale of any firearm, giving a firearm to your grandson, that's all banned. But none of that compares to basically all gun owners, depending on the interpretation most, having to go to the ATF, no judge, no jury, no background, no proof, you've done nothing wrong, you're guilty. You're not guilty until proven innocent, you're guilty. They can just deny you the ownership of guns you already legally bought and went through a background check. And the media spins this uh, and says things like, gun owners should pass background check, gun safety class. This is how New York 50 plus years ago in the 60s banned guns. They said, well, you got to do a safety class and get a permit. They just quit offering the permit and the safety class. Okay, so that's uh, being covered right there. Uh, here's Market Daily News. Diane Feinstein announces plan for American gun owners to be fingerprinted and registered. Here's another one. Feinstein, all gun owners should be registered fingerprinted. Well, she isn't saying they should be. Her bill that we've written about at InfoWars.com, uh, here's the article, American gun owners be fingerprinted and registered, has the actual text, okay? And now the New York Times has come out. She's come out and said, no, that's what we're going to do. You will bring all the guns you already legally owned, including stuff manufactured in the last hundred years. <laughs> this is all guns. This is anything semi-auto. If your great-grandpa gave you a rifle he had in World War I, a Mauser, you bring it in, and then this lady uh, and uh, her ATF, uh, a known criminal organization involved in Fast and Furious and so many other operations, they will then decide... The site's loading slow. They will then decide uh, if you can own the firearms. So this is the type of stuff that is going on, and we are all in mucho grande trouble uh, because this basically criminalizes all gun owners, and the ATF can write the rules to ban any gun they want and throw the book at you with felony arrests, you name it. This is basically the repeal of the Second Amendment as we know it. Uh, and... It's an emergency situation. I'm going to file two longer videos uh, breaking this down. But the ATF throws the book at veterans and uh, you know, law-abiding citizens for tiny regulations they claim that have been violated that aren't even law. And they want to come after us. And this is their excuse to have political purges of people they see as the enemy, awake, libertarian, constitutionally-minded people. And I'll file two bigger reports tonight on this, but let me explain. Gun owners are going to be at the executive whim of the ATF. The ATF will ban guns at will, just exactly as the former White House chief of staff a few years ago said they wanted, where they just the executive just declares you can't have a gun. This is it. It's happening. And the media is going, hey, that's reasonable. That ought to be that ought to be registered. When you bought the gun legally and went through a background check, now they're saying come into them, and the bill says they can refuse you if they want. So it gets rid of your right, turns into a privilege. Uh, and believe me, they're not doing this for some kids in Connecticut, ladies and gentlemen. They're doing this because they're a bunch of tyrants. Full reports coming up. This is the plan Obama's going to go with, and a bunch of Republicans say they're going to go along with it. Because the foreign interests and the communist Chinese that have taken over our debt and taken over this nation, they said last week, the communist government said, take their guns and we're not buying any more of your debt. And Dianne Feinstein and the rest of them said, you bet, we'll get those slaves disarmed. So don't think just because it's unconstitutional or unpopular, they won't do it. They're dropping the hammer. So you better get active and get upset or they're going to arrest basically any of us they want on trumped up gun charges. You have been warned.